Saturday at 1 p.m., the 8-5-1 New York Giants travel to the 11-3 Minnesota Vikings to play on Fox. The Vikings are a three-point favorite, and the over-under is set at 48 points. Some gambling trends before we go around and break it down. The Giants are 5-1 against the spread in their last six road games. The Vikings are 1-4 against the spread in their last five games played on Saturday. The favorite is 6-0 against the spread in the last six meetings between the two teams. The over is 4-1 in the Giants' last five Saturday games, and the over is 6-1 in the Vikings' last seven home games. Adam, how do you feel the, about this one between the Giants and Vikings that could have really big playoff implications? Yeah, exactly right. In Minnesota, obviously, with the biggest comeback in NFL history against Indiana, and they are 7-1 at home. So I guess we can finally park the Bills-Oilers highlights for a while. Now we have some new ones to look at. But my, my question is, how does Minnesota respond to that? You know, they were down 33 nothing to half. They come back and win a game. Now they have to come back and play another tough game, like you mentioned. Both teams need a win here against the Giants. Giants obviously got it done last week against Washington. Barkley played a little bit better, 87 yards and a touchdown. Jones had 160 through the air and ran for 35, which are subpar numbers. But they're going against this Minnesota defense, who's just atrocious. They give up 24.9 points a game, and they don't, just don't seem to do anything right on defense at all. But on the flip side of that coin, I think you can see Cook having a big day today. The Giants' rushing defense is 30th in the league at 150.4, but the last three games, they've actually even been a lot worse than that, giving up 192.3. So I don't like to spread this one. I'm going to stay away from that. But Minnesota's four of last five have gone over, and the last three of five of the Giants have gone have gone over. So I'd buy the points down a little bit because of the, the poor rush defense for the Giants and the poor pass and rush defense for Minnesota. I like the over in this game. Last week, Butt Fumble Sports told you to take a Dalvin Cook anytime touchdown as a player prop bet. Fortunately, we cashed on that, and it was a good time. That was late in the game to help the Vikings tie up that game to ultimately get them a win. I look towards uh, Dalvin Cook to have another big game, as Adam just alluded to. Lope, how do you feel like this game plays out between the Giants and Vikings? Yeah, it, uh, it's definitely going to be all eyes on the Vikings. Um They've won each of their last 13 games as favorites, so I, I do like them on the the money line. But I'm not, I'm not sure about the spread. Um, it, it it seems to be a little too much. But I think the strong play is the over. Both both defenses are really bad, and I think both offenses are going to be able to move the ball. There, there should be plenty of points. Uh, I think the, I'll take the Vikings on the money line and the over. Love that play from Lope. Feel the same way. The butt fumble sports picks for this one are Minnesota on the money line and the over. I'd buy the point and a half and get the over 46 and a half. I also am considering the Giants to cover plus four and a half. The Giants have played really well on the road this year, and we've seen from the Vikings lately they may be winning, but covering is another story. So there's a part of me that wants to take the Giants on the cover, but I'll probably wait thinking that the Vikings will get maybe some home love, get some extra points on that spread. But for, again, the butt fumble sports pick for this one is Vikings on the money line and the over 46 and a half, also considering the Giants on four and a half. Dennis, we talked about uh, – Adam talked about how bad the Vikings' pass defense is. I think Daniel Jones may be a good player to pick up off the waiver wire. I certainly think that Dalvin Cook is going to have a massive day for the Minnesota Vikings. Who do you like in this matchup from a fantasy standpoint? Totally agree with you on Jones. He might be a real sneaky start this week. He's definitely affordable DFS, $5,600. Um, and anybody that is a pass catcher for the Giants, load him up. As long as they're not named Kenny Galladay, I would feel comfortable absolutely with Darius Slayton. I, I think uh, we could even uh, go a little deeper with Richie James, Isaiah Hodgins. On DFS, both of them are extremely affordable, so you have a very low – uh, investment for a potential high return. These uh, uh, receivers going against the Vikings defense fantasy wise have all given great numbers for uh, several weeks in a row. So if you uh, find yourself with just a little bit of money as you're making your lineup and, and you're down to the flex, it uh, definitely worth a flyer on one of these giants. Make sure you're following us at Butt Fumble Sports on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube, and at Sports Fumble on Twitter. Such an important week for fantasy football owners and for football players and fans in general. Playoffs are on the line, so if you need help with your fantasy team, make sure you're following us. That way you know every time you go, uh, we go live, so you can ask your question, get some help to make sure your fantasy team wins its matchup this week.